Who could be around right now that we could talk to? Yeah. Yo, who this? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, Mr. Hutch? Oh, Espinos. Can I talk to you once you repair your vehicle, sir? Uh, yes, sure. sir. Awesome. They were pulling cars out of Asian. Oh, oh no! Can we do for you, Mr. Hutchison. Um, come over, come over here. Actually, maybe. I I would like to speak to you guys privately if I can. Uh, would you guys sure. would you guys be willing to talk in that garage right over there? Uh, we can go to the captain's office if you'd like, or would yes, you like please. To I would love. Off-site? That's fine. We can go, captain. All right, sounds good. How's it going, ma'am? Gonna park this in the motor pool. All right, go for it on the road. How you doing today, Mr. Espinos? Ah, uh, pretty good, pretty good. Just uh, oh, I was feeling a little bit under the weather yesterday. Some. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. Today. Yeah. No corona, right? Yeah. No, I hope not. Good. Yeah, I fucking hated it. It's awful. Um, actually, let me, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I feel guilty. Let me go and throw some in my glove box real quick, all right? I'm told that we can drop them off with you guys, but I'm not sure how we actually drop them off. Um, are you doing a drop off right now? Uh, I've got Sorry. them in my pocket, so I was going to drop them here before I left the city. If yeah, if you want them. Yeah, I can I can help you with that. Um, okay. <sighs> I like your outfit. Thanks. Just got back from the Bahamas. Thank you, I would. All right, we'll just uh, wait for Espinosa. Oh, you wanna, let me know what you wanna chat about briefly? Um, yeah, so obviously you know that I own HNO, I'm partial owner in it. Um, and I woke up this morning to find out that my, the owner, uh Mr. Woke Delmar. Up, yeah, Mr. Delmar sent me a very interesting uh guy woke up to a voicemail and it was uh Oi mate, yeah don't fuck up and I was in a bunch of other Australian words that I don't understand. 
and i went to go you know get my vehicle and yeah so i know something went down something so obviously my keys are gone and i'm trying to figure out what happened now i'm asking you guys this as a favor just to fill me in if anything hno related okay. with anybody happened to the point where my I can fill you in on a few things because I was gonna actually uh, talk to you and you know request a few things from you. Okay. Being some records or whatnot. Okay. Um. So basically, um, earlier today, I was chasing a only, GR please. AMG with an off-white color. Is that one of yours? I'll say it again. Uh, a GDR AMG. Mercedes GDR AMG. I think it is. We do oh, own. We do own a Mercedes G. Yes, we do own one of those vehicles. Yeah, the it's uh, registered to Mary Posa. Believe she works at. H yes, yes, that will be one of our vehicles. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why you were taking off the books and whatnot, but um, that's uh, uh, I'm uh, not, I'm not. Let me, let me make this. Let me clarify. I'm not trying to. Uh, <laughs> I'm not coming here to get my job back. Listen, me and uh, Miss, me and Mr. Delmar, we have a very under, we have a very similar understanding of what we want out of our business, and I can promise you this, officers, that if if those vehicles were used in any other crime, uh, other than what they're usually used in, listen, when we rent out our vehicles, when we rent them out, and we have paperwork for them being rented out, um, they are to be used to drive. And if they are used to drive fast, then even then we can somewhat sympathize with the people who are renting them. But the sad thing about H&O is, is that whenever we give keys out to our building for people to be able to come in and to be able to socialize, because it really is an area. I know you guys have been looking at H&O for a long time. I have uh, back in the day, a couple months ago, we've had problems with H&O in the past where People think that it's used for something that's not. I'm going to fill you guys in. I've actually taken an officer down into H&O before, and I would be willing to take you guys in there. We have multiple S-Class vehicles that are to be rented out and used by civilians who could not other than afford them if they didn't rent them out to us. Oh, yeah, of course. I don't think that we got any issue with that. Yeah. Um, I'm saying uh, I was chasing that vehicle today. Come back, registered to Mariposa. We had an individual, you know, looking to shoot us that, you know, you're not liable for that. But uh, I called Jalen, um, asking if that's one of your vehicles, and he said, no, not anymore. Um, so I wouldn't obviously be able to subpoena the records for that vehicle. Not anymore. Uh, furthermore, yeah, furthermore, um, I was chasing an RCF, by, okay. driven by Rami and Randy, registered to Jalen Carter Jr. Uh, they drove it into Little Soul. Uh, they then took out, well, there was an R34 there, um, registered to Otto Delmar. Uh, they jumped in so, that wait, vehicle. Which... So now we have three vehicle. Okay. Okay. This is okay. Okay. Yeah. There was, uh, they jumped into that vehicle, Rami Raman and, uh, Randy Bullet. We chased God them down. It. We arrested them. Um, Jalen Carter Jr. was aware of what was going on, God um, because it. he was arrested with them trying to, trying to help him out. He was driving an R8 Highcade, uh, R8 Highcade, um, at the time. Uh, and then after that, we got in another chase with Rami. Um, he was driving his own personal vehicle um, and eventually ended up swapping into a second vehicle, which was a grain color NSX NA1 um, <laughs> registered to Otto Delmar. Oh my God. Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? Which was why I was going to talk to you to subpoena your records for... Uh, the NSX NA1 and the R34 GTR, but I would assume that Mr. Rami O'Raman and uh, Randy Bullet or whoever else was in that NSX were probably uh, probably went down into your building and just took him out willy nilly. But um, I'm not sure about that, which is why I was trying to subpoena the records. I tried that already with a GDR AMG, which was apparently not one of yours anymore, but registered to somebody who was, uh, well, we suspect it was. Um, a male suspect uh, driving that GDR that was threatening to shoot us at the time, and it was registered to Mary Posa. So I don't know why somebody else would be driving her vehicle, <sighs> especially if she's uh, working at H&O. 
So you see, well, I got a few problems there. And we were uh, looking yeah, to I hear you. put something together and chat to you and some judges to get some legislation so that if we uh, well, listen, vehicles, I, I can I can tell you right now. Strikes apply to. Yeah, I can tell you right now, sir. You you will not need to subpoena or you will not need to do any of that. I am I will be fully cooperative and I will work with you guys uh, in any way that I can, even if those individuals are involved, because I have expressed to them. Many, 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 many of times not to fucking do this. Listen, you've ever had a okay, why would I need you to understand something? You ever ever had a family you love very, very much? Yeah, they do dumb shit. That you love very much. That you consider them your brothers. And they're the dumbest motherfuckers you've ever met in your entire fucking life. And that will fucking no. do shit and not think about the repercussions that it will cause to you and your business you've been building for over a fucking year. Have you ever, have you ever been in that situation before? That's what these fucks oh, are imagine. doing to me. Yeah, well, which is why I would recommend if they're doing that sort of shit. They're fired. Um, they're never going to work there again. They will never yeah, own keys there ever again. Them. They will yeah, be blacklisted and they will not be able to pull out any other vehicles or work anywhere near H&O for the rest of the time they breathe in this fucking city. That's already done and it will be done. And you will not have to worry about an H&O vehicle being in any either of Randy nor Rami's possession again for the time of fucking dawn. Okay, that I can promise you. Number two, when it comes to the records uh, on our end with our garages, we're able to see who pulls out what vehicles at what time. I will take a picture of that once I get keys to my building of that specific pullout and the time that it's pulled out. And I will bring it to you guys out of fucking respect for you guys telling me this. So you do not have to subpoena Fantastic. the records. Um, All right. So, yeah, to be the. Um, can you let me give the, you my number? Can you text me what exactly you uh, want? Sure. There you go. Yeah, because um, if there isn't a contract for those vehicles, which. Um, we do have a copy of the contract that you guys use for the, the rentals. Yes, sir. Um, you know, I'm not about shutting down your business or whatever, but you can see how this is uh, problematic. If I was in your uh, position, I would feel the exact same way, sir. The idea that people could have endless amounts of access to S-Class vehicles to pull out and do that kind of shit with is a fucking stupid. And there's another word for it I would like to yeah, use, but I'm holding myself if, um, back. You know, we're looking to do some, uh, help you guys out with some legislation so you don't get the full strikes all the time, you know? Yep. Um, you know, that would, uh, that'd be very problematic. Very. We were thinking about potentially, you know, talking to the judges and, you know, if, um, you know, we'll strike these vehicles. I was talking to Soze earlier. Uh, we doubled the fine on Rami for the R34 rather than, uh, sending it into the impound for you guys. Um. So rather than regular 2,500 per strike, we'll probably, you know, bump it up to maybe 5,000 or 6,000 or something. But if we catch somebody, you know, using one of your vehicles, we would charge them uh, rather than send it to impound, right? Yeah. Um, maybe you could write that in your contract or something. Got it. And, uh, you know, if they took the vehicle and it's from H&O and there isn't a contract for it, they haven't, you know, gone through the proper paperwork, then we would uh, file for regular... Um, File for a regular kind of strike. If that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yes. Yeah, I understand. And that way, that would uh, not come. You know, that would hurt your company in a way. Yeah. So. And yeah. You obviously would want to avoid doing that by letting people willy-nilly drive them, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I cannot. Like I said, the way our keys are set up, it's hard for me to. The the. So again, our our our, H and O is more of a social environment than anything people can come down into h and o they can hang out to be quite honest they can come down there and feel safe from being watched by officers or whatever because it is a very large space but with that being said i have always 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 been completely open with you guys and been willing to show you guys what we do down there because again the last thing i want is you guys to feel like i am facilitating crime in any type of way listen i know i got a rap sheet and i know i got a history but with H and O, I take very seriously because I know how easily it could be taken all away from me, just like in this kind of scenario right here. So when I woke up to found out that my keys were gone and I'm the owner of the fucking business, I was very confused. So I'm glad you guys cleared that up for me. And um, yeah, on my end, I will take care of any of the other bullshit those two idiots caused for H and O because again, 
I cannot express this enough to you, gentlemen. I have told them many fucking times not to do the shit that they did because this would exact this would this would happen, and it did, and I knew it would. I should have trusted my gut. Yeah, I guess uh, Mr. Delmar got wind of what was going on because we were looking into, you know, some of your records and whatnot, checking the vehicles, and uh, we noticed that everybody had been wiped off the books. So I was going to reach out to uh, Jackson and maybe talk to him about, uh, you know, what uh, vehicles are pulled out and let him know what was going on, but... I'll deal with all that. I, I, I will... Yeah, uh... because uh, we've spoken with Jalen. He's been pretty cooperative about, um, about uh, handing in records when needed if they were involved in crime. And we appreciate that because we yeah. want to make sure we I'm find surprised, out. Uh, well, you know, I'm pretty sure that AMG GTR was one of yours. So it kind of surprised me when he said it wasn't, given the other circumstances of, uh, you know, being married posters and being driven by somebody else. Well, but, okay, um, so I'll, I'll fill you guys in on this also because, again, this is, uh, oh, I want you guys to understand uh, H&O. So wh whenever we have vehicles and, and other, and other uh, cars inside of H&O, um, one person can't all, can't have every single one of those vehicles because if they're not awake and someone's head pops, they will not be able to access and give keys back to that vehicle. It's one of the problems we have with our rentals and rentals is our business. That. So what we do is, is we spread it across multiple higher ups with NH and O so that if they are around, those are the vehicles that are rented out so that we can give access back to our clients with keys. Cause if that wasn't a thing, our business would fucking die. Um, if, if this was being used in a crime or facilitated in a, in a crime, and I do find out that it is an H&O vehicle, I will come back to you and I will tell you that it was an H&O vehicle. And I will deal with Jalen, my fucking self, if he lied to you guys about that. Because if it was being used in a crime, like you guys are telling me, when it's facilitated to basically shoot cops or threatening cops, was this... Okay, one more thing. What did this stem from? What what was exactly the uh, reason for this? Uh, we were chasing a street race with this uh, GDR AMG. Okay. They threatened to uh, shoot us and whatnot, but uh, it was out of a way. It's, it's not really what was going on there. It's kind of like, you know, I know it's a rental. Um, yeah. And then he kind of uh, said it wasn't, right? It was pretty cooperative. I don't know if he was uh, maybe feeling a bit um, high and mighty being around uh, Randy and Rami. They were kind of going on some crazy antics last night, but, you know. You know how it is, um, why would you guys have higher ups here? You have someone to, that you have to uh, listen to, even if it's stupid and dumb oh yeah, and course. they're fucking idiots. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Jay is CG and Rami and Randy are our leaders. That is 100 percent the truth. Um, and I feel like if I was awake, I would have definitely made sure that this didn't happen. But Jay, you know, there's been some things that are going on. I don't want to tell you guys fucking what's been going on because you guys are cops. But there's been some shit. So Jay definitely was in a shitty situation that any other time he would have told them to fuck off. But because of recent events that's been going on within our family, I feel like he didn't have the testicular fortitude to tell those two to fuck off. Yeah, I understand that. But uh, you're going to have to talk to Rami and Randy and let I them will. know that their antics are uh, do a six, uh, something you can stand for. Oh, don't we worry. Gonna have I to, will. You know, we're going to use this, um, you know, the events that transpired last night as a, you know, Something we'll put forward to the judges as how we're going to move forward with legislation, how we can protect your business and, you know, protect the, the people of Los Santos, San Andreas. Well, like at the I end of the day, if you guys comply with us and uh, you guys facilitate um, records when needed, like, I mean, we have no issues. Like, I think it's great that uh, people can uh, rent out vehicles if they can't afford them. And just, yeah, uh, then they would just get a huge fine anyway if they go and do dumb exactly. shit and get caught with it. So. Exactly. And and I think that, again, Espinosa, I'm glad you said that because it, this is, and I want to clarify one thing, this is 1000% something that is for the people and not for my fucking boys to use and abuse like a fucking wash rag to wipe down their piss stains off the wall after they have a boner and they miss the toilet in the morning. This is not something that I would ever, ever want to be done. And I'm very, very fucking frustrated that it happened. So... Uh, I appreciate you guys having this conversation with me. Thank you. I will deal with it. Once I have access back to my shop, I will have all of the uh, vehicles that you would like uh, pictured and sent straight to your phone so you know who exactly pulled them out. And uh, everything on our end will be taken care of uh, that I can. Last thing, Espinos, sell me your fucking car.
Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys. And thank you guys for taking right. the time out of your day to talk no to problem, me. No problem, Mr. Hutchison. No worries. Take I care. apologize that this happened. I appreciate you uh, cooperating. We wasn't uh, having a chat. Of course. But uh, I'll try and uh, talk with the judges as well so we can get some legislation written up for you so uh, all the officers know what to do when it comes to impounding your vehicles. Yeah, and I'll uh, I'll talk with our uh, I'll talk with our, our lead grounds crew and see if we can't get the keys sorted to yeah, where... you should have like a rental uh, paper system. You take well, we have one, but the, the problem it. is is when, when you have a, 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 a shop with a lot of people who have access to be able to come down there and, and hang out and chill... Uh, when your keys are set to basically anyone who has keys to your shop can pull whatever the fuck you want out. It, it definitely screws us. Rami and Randy both, they are, neither of them are higher up within H&O. But doesn't matter if you're a fucking rat or if you're the king, anyone can have access to pull out our vehicles. And hopefully we can get that changed. And hopefully now it sets a precedent that it needs to be changed. And uh, we exactly. can get all that taken care of also on our end. So this doesn't happen all again. All right. I Fantastic. appreciate you guys. Thank you All again. Right, catch you around, Hutch. Bye-bye now. See ya. It's Hutch. Hutch, it's uh, Barry from Wonder Boys. How's it going, mate? What's going on, Barry? Uh, listen, I don't know if you spoke with uh, TJ earlier, but um, we were doing a bunch of uh, Let me work go down ahead. at H Let me go ahead and stop <laughs> you. I'll fill you in. Where are you guys at? Uh, it's just me awake right now, but, um, but, but let me 